a 15% rate nationwide. The small and low-profit enterprises from Hong Kong, Macau, and Taiwan could continue to enjoy a preferential tax rate of 20%. Although the elimination of some preferential policies for foreign-funded enterprises will result in one to ten percentage point higher tax rate, Jing said it will not have big impact on inflows of foreign direct investment. The view is echoed by HP China's chief finance officer. It will not have big impact on our investment and development in China. Preferential tax is only one aspect. We should consider other factors like stable political environment, rapidly developing economy, vast market, bountiful labor resources, and improved legal system and government support. The law is waiting for the NPC's approval next Friday. If passed, the unified rate will come into effect next year. Liu Chenzi, CCTV. Tonight, joining us in the studio live is Edward Lehman, a senior seasoned tax lawyer practicing in Beijing, in the studio to share with us the significance of the new corporate income tax law. Welcome to Biz China. Thank you very much, Edward. So the first question is: the new corporate、uh, tax law will raise the tax rate for some foreign companies. Will that dampen the enthusiasm of the? Inflow of foreign investment. You know, I mean, being a tax lawyer that's practiced here for the last 20 years, the answer is no. Because I mean, the reason why people are entering into the China market isn't because of the tax incentives. It may have been in the past tax incentive based, but it's really because you're, there's entry for a 1.3 billion person market, and so the people who want to be here are here because they want to be in China. And as all of us know who live and work in China, the reason why we would like to have Uh, a decent amount of money coming into ta- into the taxes is so that the government can take care of the infrastructure. We don't. We wouldn't have policemen. We wouldn't have decent roads. We wouldn't have、uh, different types of things, services that would allow us to be able to function here at a very efficient rate、uh, if we had a low tax base. And so the situation would become chaotic, like it like it did in Russia and some other places when they didn't、uh, go after the tax base and increase those taxes. So I don't think it'll dampen、uh, foreign investment here at all. So once the infrastructure infrastructure is basically there, the tax is no longer a big issue. But、yeah. following that logic, but still, the, the, law, the law it, says overseas firms, some overseas firms that invested in the、uh, high-tech manufacturing sectors, will continue enjoying some preferential treatment, somewhere between 15 percent and 24, anywhere below 25. Uh, why is that necessary? Yeah, well, I mean, the, the, I think what our listeners don't necessarily understand is everyone talks about WTO, and they、mm-hmm. say WTO should make it fair for foreigners and have a transparent system for foreigners to be able to invest and to work and to live in China. But it also should be fair for domestic companies, and so what we have is we have domestic companies who are paying、uh, around 33 percent in taxation, and we have、uh, foreign invested enterprises which are getting tax breaks for up to five years after they start to make a profit. And so what they're doing is they're actually equalizing. It's not super national where. Foreigners are treated actually better than Chinese, and so what they're doing is they're allowing over the course of the next five years, they're actually having they're stair stepping it in so that people can plan for their businesses as to what to do over the course of the next five years, and they're making it transparent. I mean, China ascended to WTO in, in 2001. Here we are in 2007. They're talking about、uh, changing the laws for taxation in 2008, and then giving five years for for people to be able to plan. I think this is a very clear and transparent system, which is under. Understandable for all those people who are here and those people who will come in the future. But you were saying that five-year transition, this five-year transition period, is, is still necessary for some of those foreign companies. Well, I think you know promises were made.、Uh, you know, w- good, bad, or indifferent, WTO existing, not existing, promises were made, and I think that the Chinese government is doing their best to say we're going to keep those promises, we're going to keep expectations, but we're also going to. Keep incentives there for high tech. We're going to keep incentives there for、uh, environmental. We're going to keep incentives for small and medium-sized businesses because that's the backbone of the Chinese economy. It's the backbone of the United States economy, for goodness sakes. And so we're going to say. The process is not going to be 25 percent all the way across the board, but it's going to be 20 percent for small business. It's going to be 15 percent for high tech or environmental businesses. But it's going to be clear and transparent, so everyone has a decent roadmap. And, and it's a bit confusing now. I mean, as they say in the United States, there's only two things that are certain: death and taxes. I think the ancillary to that is. 